sitting here outside of Louisville, Kentucky, right after the Louisville USGP with Chris Shepard, who on the second day got 10th and most aggressive rider. Maybe hey, not 10th, 9th. Hey, hey, I was 9th, man. That means something. Coming off sabbatical, how long you been sober? About two years now. Been about sober. Kind of uh, that last little trip ran me dry. It's a bit expensive. And I figured uh, figured better shut her down for a couple of years. Shut her down? Did you give her? Ah, uh, like a skidoo. You know, kind of uh, kept busy. You know, laying tile, it's glamorous world. I, I would never give up tile laying for racing cross. I've been racing cross actually now for a couple decades and, and just sort of coming out of retirement. It's, it's been good. You came back this week after being down on your knees for two years. <laughs> well, <clears throat> you got to make money somehow. You know, it, it wasn't always, I, was, I wasn't always behind 7-Eleven. There were those couple houses that I worked on too. So you're coming. I just want to clarify that for listeners out there. Now, you're coming back. You used to race for Haro Lee Dungarees. You were sponsored by Lee Jeans. Yeah. Well, Dungarees. Um, you have a pair? They, they made sport jackets as well. And actually this nifty hat from uh, Kazakhstan. And Came straight from Almaty. So, so Chris, you're coming down here to Louisville, and you're racing against all the hot shots. But yet you got thrown up on the stage, most aggressive rider. I mean, you were held up the big check. I mean, that thing must have weighed about 10 pounds. It was so big. I mean, it had a wingspan of about eight feet, and you held it up in the air. I mean, did you plan on getting most aggressive rider? I mean, well, they like I said about the guns, you know, they saw that somebody, they needed somebody to carry uh, 25,000 pennies. So, you know, they looked at me, and I was the right cat. I was, well, they looked at you, and they gave it to you. That's right. You know, I just kind of was taking it easy at the start, you know. Slipped a couple pedals, you know, just kind of let them get a lead for a little bit and, and then then just bring it on hard. Let know? them make the mistakes. That's right. Come from behind. Get the most aggressive ride. There's a few of us out there, and uh, we were battling. It was a battle. There's blood. Well, There's battle, blood. battle indeed. Did you like Louisville, Kentucky's course? Well, I was disappointed there was no bourbon testing at the race course. Although that's why I brought my water bottle on my bike. There's no feed zone at cross races. What's up with that? You really hit it with the dueling guitars. Yeah! No, that's the shit. Like, you know, you're going to be coming up snowboarding, skiing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get all riled up. Yeah, I'm fired up right now. It's coming yeah. through my veins. Well, this is the, the, the next cross race. Dave Toll, I think, is going to be there. So I'm going to get him to play Christ Illusion for, for our race. He'll load it in. Towers, watch out, man. Watch out. Christ Illusion is coming. I see you in there. J Pow. How about the bonfires here just in the barrel? Five holes. Five holes. Oh, that's pretty impressive. Stu was able to put an extra three. That sort of takes it to a whole new level. So uh, I'm just wondering uh, what's going to happen at the next race. Are you going to come out with a barrel? Well, you guys might have to provide the barrel, but we'll bring the drill. That's tough talking, my friend. What, what, what are you going to do next? You going to race mountain bikes next year? Um. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe a few. Maybe whatever you know. Sea otter, you know. Short races. What? Just. You going to go after a Tilford for the for what, what? What's it called? The Iron Otter, Golden Otter. Not. Til I'm going to go after Tilford for his tiling abilities, man. That guy can lay down like. 150 square foot a day. Seriously. Well, for missing saddle, we want to get the Oreg Oregonian, uh, what, the triad. You know, three guys going anonymous, just telling it like it is, keeping it real. Uh, I mean, come on. You pretty much run big game in Oregon. I mean, we're making a surprise here. Not, 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 we're not talking like women game. We're talking, I mean, you run it, you run it all day long. What do you got? Oh, come on. You got more than Come on. <laughs> he needs his medal, too. You know, Just I, a toothy grin. Well, let's get back to racing. You came down here for the Louisville USGP, which, you know, they changed the course around. The key word out there was button hook. Button not, hook. Not, not a word I'm normally familiar with. Don't do a whole lot of sewing. I mean, shit, I don't know what a button hook is. 
I was kind of confused. Thread the needle is? I can thread the needle on the highway. But a button hook? You're hooking a button, which is threading the needle, so you got to make it through the corner. you got to thread it. I had number 97 today, so I had 24, and, and, and it's all about being that top low number, and I wasn't going to have any of it. And, you know, there might be a past, and I, I remember those that dirty time in my life, and I reflected back on it, said I'd never do it, but I don't mind throwing an elbow to, to Skyle's face. I thought you didn't go back to that life. Yeah, this is different, though. This is the most aggressive rider, and I'll do whatever it takes. To... Where's my medal? <laughs> yeah! So, in, in, in three months, man, I'm going to be flying American colors, you know? Start racing mountain bikes for the American national team. <laughs> the, the Americans, they got a national team down here? Apparently they do in Kentucky. It's being based out of here. USA, the U.S. Olympic Committee is moving to Louisville, so it's all right. They're all yeah, as it should right be. Now, so. Yeah, Good yeah. Place. It's Kentucky Derby Museum. That's right. Gamble away the athlete's money. It'll be perfect. That's actually better than uh, mutual funds. How are you doing with that? Gambling. As a savings account. Well, you know, I was thinking I'd get a really good uh, adjustable rate mortgage coming up here soon. <laughs> oh, those are such value. Yeah. I mean, it's a real deal. Right now. I just figured I'd get a really good deal and, like, uh, start flipping some houses. We might have to put this to a wrap right now. It's like, getting ugly. Yeah, I'm running out of things to say. So I suck. I'ck. No, I suck. No, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good.